Hey everybody, Rodman here. Thanks for tuning in to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. A little recap of the scenario settings voted on by all of you. And hopping back to where we left off, we are our own micro kingdom. I don't know, I'm not technically a queen yet. Yet. But, um, yeah, I feel very queen like. So, my plan this episode is to raise my renown as much as I can uh, so that we can get the clan tier four. I am halfway there, like four points north of halfway there, which is, uh, which is to say incredibly far. Um, but the thing is, I'm also going to be looking for a town to sack and keep uh, if the opportunity arises, which I do hope it, it does. Sorry, Richard the Stag. Uh, nothing personal. Oh, you turned. Yes, that's what riders do. Sorry, Bash. Let me just... Sorry, Valandian. And that round is over. Big old miss. Nathan the Swordsman. Uh oh. We're going to be outnumbered, aren't we? And here I am just sitting back. Alright. Nope, not outnumbered. Un three. Shield, and he has high tier royal armor. Come on! As evidenced by the ridiculous amount of times I had to hit him. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, he's dead now. Or rather, knocked out. Die, you pig! Uh oh. Stupid crossbow. Oh, that was cheeky, Talon. Good job, that was cheeky. Shot me light right as I got into CQB range. Alright, so now it's all up to this Valendian infantry, which I have no faith in. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, they traded. All right, well, the Valenian infantry actually hit first, so now I get to kill him. And we're done. <laughs> what an ending. <laughs> well, I guess that answers that. In the case of a trade, it goes to the person that uh, knocked, got knocked out first. I mean, I, I guess that, that does make sense, but uh, that was really cool to see. In person, all right. I want a a stupid helmet, uh, but I'm mostly on the screen because my food is dreadfully low. I have five days of food and a lot of people. Uh, one thing I could do is whoa, 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 whoa! I don't want all. I meant to hold shift. Uh, Where did I put those grapes? One thing I could do is to drop off all my high tier troops that don't really need the leveling. And uh, just run around with some lower levels to grind them up while looking for opportunities to sack and pillage, rip and tear. You know, just just queen things. And that would allow me to feed a whole lot less people, or, or at least a few less. Um, which would definitely help with the budget, budgeting troops. Oh. Cool leather scale armor. I definitely want to win this one. It is a uh, everybody mounted kind of. 
Uh, and that's probably the Leopardus. There's only one room, the Leopardus versus the Lion. Someone made a YouTube comment about that. I kind of liked it. The Lioness. The lioness never loses, though. Alright, I'm sure you want to see, like, big hit couched attacks. So I'll do that in a second. Who are you, Silas? Oh yeah, that's Silas. Actually, Silas, I'm not going to knock you out. Alright. And... Ow! Darn it. Whoa, I'm knocked. And my Valanian Billman? Okay, we just lost. Oh, serves me right. Yeah, I'm going to skip. And... Leave. Because I'm not even in it. That's one of the dangers uh, that I've been mentioning about couch attacks is the man on the ground, the man standing there. Um, what ended up happening was he, he got a hit on me and um, I was moving really fast. So, curse splat. I went curse splat. All right, Veron Castle. Let's go to the garrison and drop off sharpshooters knights really anyone four and up i'm gonna i'm gonna ditch oh you know what hold on let's reset that the hardened crossbowmen if i'm gonna ditch them i might as well up them too right um all right leaving me with the lobies 101 it's still a lot of troops So what I'm trying to do is look for an opportunity to strike on a town. Ideally, ideally, uh, a town uh, owned previously by Valandia so that I could build up my reputation. Uh, what was pointed out to me was I was the one that raided Golaran because uh, I forced them for some... I didn't raid the whole city. But I did force them for uh, giving me uh, supplies, and um, uh, that that's one of the problems with, you know, the braiding and all that. Ooh, I'm against a named person. Morcan! All right, have I learned my lesson? Nope. But the lioness never gives up. I even sidestepped at the last second to, uh, dodge. Oh, shooting a dead person. And there's two of you left. Yep, one versus one. Me versus a Saul Giant. And me versus another named noble, Amalgam. Why? Oh. All right, might as well close the distance now because he's got nothing left in him. But up, 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 up. We won a terrible little helmet. We used to gaining renown, but uh, not all that efficiently. All right, let's check the kingdom tab here. Going to. Well, first, the clan tab. So, I could see the health of Varen Castle. Oh, one thing I could do, actually, which I should do, is head back to Varen Castle and actually invest some um, dinars in its recovery, in its repair. That would be a very, very smart thing to do. It looks like, um, it looks like Valandia is out on the warpath again. But if I check Kingdoms, Valandia, currently at war with the Northern Empire. Uh, the Northern Empire owns this stuff, so it's not clear where exactly they will be invading, but I, I guess we can wait and see. So if we manage the castle here, uh, these walls are going to take 
just about forever, 237 days. What I'm going to do is put um, a bunch of my own money to cut that time down considerably. Now, I could also install uh, a governor to try to speed it up as well. Um, Greedog, I'm going to install you as governor. I'm going to go to my party screen. Actually, Vredog, you are you are supposed to be my surgeon, aren't you? Hang on a minute. Manage castle. Uh, Silas, it's going to be you. So as you can see, 185 days. It's still a long, long time. It it um. It's one of the reasons why. Here, take care of the party. It's one of the reasons why when you siege, if you can siege with ladders where you don't destroy walls, um, it's pretty much good for everyone. All right, so now he is back with us. We are 100 strong. And the problem is I don't exactly have uh, somewhere to go and something to do. It's just a more of the renowned grind, unfortunately. But I am jumping from tournament to tournament to make some money. It's also possible that I build up enough money for a big caravan. Um, I blocked for him. That's cool. <coughs> Sorry, Stag. I blocked for him, but it seemed like my shield was behind him, but it worked anyway. That was kind of cool. Oh, here's a little traitor. Kind of looks like uh, I kidnapped your daughter. Oh, no, you don't exactly... No, never mind. It seems like I continually find myself going up against Talon. But also that bash here. Oh, there we go. Bash. Uh, yeah, I mean, my own companions, I'm constantly 1v1ing. But don't worry. The lioness seldom loses. Or rarely loses, I should say. Uh, nothing in the tavern district. I don't really want to help the merchants out. <sighs> if only I could encourage, like, Batania to go to war with... Uh... Yeah, but they're not going to. Uh, character screen. I built up enough one-handed... So that while mounted, your one-handed damage is increased by 5%. Or reduce the effect of wielding a shield on your combat movement speed. I'm going to do that. I don't need more damage when I'm mounted. I don't feel like I'm, um, I'm slowed or uh, I'm doing too little damage when I'm mounted. I really want... Uh, to move a little bit faster. All right, uh, free dog. Let's bring you back here. So one of the bugs here that was mentioned. Uh, who mentioned it? It was Andy. Andy mentioned that the bugs, the skirmishers here, um, they, the skirmisher slot tends to in some battles spawn way out ahead, which is something I've obviously been noticing. Um, so I am pulling them back now for this battle. Uh, yeah, I'll send my Valandian recruits. Actually, you know, the recruits I'm going to put on heavy cavalry. I could send them in first. This is a large group. Food men! Soldiers, take to archers! Soldiers, get all right, so now what I'm doing is I'm sending my archers and my recruits in. Um, I don't think the recruits had enough. The recruits didn't have enough of them to 
take care of this large group by themselves, so I'm having them get backed up by some crossbowmen. That way I don't lose too many recruits. I'm not wasting opportunities to level myself up. No quarter for the Craven. No you heard the man. Uh, who's who are we waiting on? Well, I gain renown for even fighting looters like this. All right, let's just hit done. I didn't. I know I didn't kill them all, but whatever. Um, and honestly, that's pretty. That's pretty good. You know, that's about the same renown as a tournament fight, just about. Uh, another tip I received. Ooh, I don't know if I wrote it down, but so these really, really large um, bandit camps. Well, actually, yeah, these large hideouts. There are other quests that help reduce the size of these hideouts that you could pick up. Um, escort merchant caravan. That you can uh, pick up from nearby towns. Um, like dealing with poachers and deserters. And that will actually reduce the size of the uh, hideouts. Um, making them easier and more manageable. But uh, I don't see any such quests being offered. Another issue is... Um, not that I'm ever going to be recruiting at Golarin. Because Golarin are Imperials, Imperial based. But um, as you can see, my relation with them is negative 30 because I did raid them. Train troops for Golarin. Um, yeah, I guess I'll do that just because I don't have anything else to do. Oh. You won't even talk to me. Okay. All right. Fine. Whatever. Yeah, uh, don't raid, don't raid territories that you will take ownership of later. It uh, don't end well. Doesn't end well. It looks like the Patanians uh, seem to be pretty bored. If um, if I am to be, yeah, it looks like they're pretty bored, and I say that Take over, come on! because they're just chasing down looters. All right, so I've just delegated command. All the recruits are charging these seventeen looters, and I'm just gonna launch some long-range arrows. Seeing if I can't level up some bow skills. Yep. Bow went up. Oops, that was a friendly, I think. Now, some of my recruits are, are getting knocked out or killed. But the, the larger net result is more experience. Let's see if we can get that last one, or last few. considering the range. Alright, there we go. Bunch more leveled up. And... 34 out of 43 recruits are ready to go. Awesome.
Now, alternatively, uh, one of the things I might do is take really any town I can. I mean, I'm not even a queen, and I'm, you know, so I shouldn't be too, too picky, is I guess what I'm saying. Um, and if there's a possibility of, of grabbing... Uh, Grabbing some nice territory, I, I, you know, it's hard to pass that up. Whoa, not all of it. I keep doing that. Hold shift. This town doesn't have a lot besides grain. All right, I'm going to pay 3K. That's very pricey, but uh, I did just get uh, better horse armor so that my horse lives a little bit longer in battle. Oh, a bear pelt. And of course, this is now a Batanian battle, so a lot of two-handers and bows. Oh, do it. Haha, uh. <laughs> came back from the brink. This round is all bows. One on one little Oh, I'm get to kill a scholar. Nice. Or knock him out. It's not really kill. And then me versus a hunter in a axe fight. I'll cut the tree down first. No touchy touchy. Yes. Uh, I'm a very tough lady. Okay, so this bear pelt is quite good. Uh, better than this tattered one I had. And then the tattered one is going to be a hand me down for Can. This fine scarf, a hand me down for Richard. Uh, Talon has something better, and you have nothing, so you get that. Sorry. It does trickle down. Hand me downs suck. I know. Well, I actually don't know. I'm the oldest in my immediate family. But uh, I can say they do suck. Ooh, there is a lot of looters around. There's a lot of potential experience out there. But I think, as boring as it might be for me to... to um, Tournament hop, it is probably the fastest way for me to make renown and money if I'm not a, as long as I win, as, if I'm not a sellsword. Uh, because if I'm not a sellsword uh, and I'm not fighting giant kingdom battles, which can really be a lot of. Um, the, the giant battles can really net you a lot of renown. I could try to re-enlist, but I'm curious what that would do to my, uh, the castle I own. Versus the Sturgeon Warrior in the next fight. Bring it. Yeah. You brought it as best as you could and you died. Uh, this for helmet sucks. Bye bye for helmet. And let's start chasing down some looters to try to get our uh, recruits up. I do want a, uh, all right, are they, oh, good, they mixed. So we're against not 18, but, uh, 29 or whatever. Uh, what I was going to say is, yeah, we, we definitely want 
no recruits heading into a potential town capture. It would be really, really bad to try to capture a town and all you got is garbage, garbage units. You won't win. They will flee. That's how it is. That's how it works. Getting all these uh, mounted arrow kills. Uh, my riding skill is going up. Um, I'm not that close to the big old 90 mark that I'm going to need to be to ride the next tier of horse. But uh, hey, it's getting better. Yeah, let's work on some one hit too. dog leveled up. I did send my companions in to fight, um, as well as the uh, recruits. So they're not, they're not the only ones. I think if I glanced it quickly, yeah, every single recruit is ready to go. So, uh, let's do one, two, three footmen, one, two, three crossbowmen, a little bit more footmen than crossbowmen. They're all tier two now. I do have a little bit of space, of course, um, because I did have some losses. I've lost like two or so recruits in the process of leveling them up, but that's, I mean, that's pretty good. Man, I am finding arena fights like crazy. I'm not even asking the tournament leader. Uh, rough bearskin? Nah, that's pretty good. Let's try, actually try to win this one. Oh, come on. They, they spawned with cover. We didn't. I mean, we're still going to win. Sorry, Rich. That was not fair footing. Give you a free shot so that I could take a better one. Die, you bastard! He can't path over the rock. Man, he, he has thick armor. I keep hitting him for, like, quite low damage. Oh, and he got me. But, uh, that, yep, we're, we're done. Darn it. I forgot about the fact that, uh, we don't proceed there. Um, all right, let's just keep, keep rolling around. Uh, there is, so, the Northern Empire did make inroads, or rather, uh, Battle progress. Griffor here, as you can see, captured this castle. Um, that castle is not worth enough for me to declare war on the Northern Empire because, of course, I'm going to have to declare peace on the Northern Empire once, you know, if if I captured it. Uh, party size or actually improves while on horseback. Ooh, this is real tough. So squires, party size. Hmm, I'm going to do accuracy. I'm going to make her. A warrior queen because um, two additional party is not huge but my accuracy that could be really really useful all right so at this point uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send everybody in because everybody's at least here too uh, and let's see if I can't 
immediately tell if the... Oh, yeah. The accuracy is much better. As you can see, the aiming reticles are a lot tighter. Allowing me to more easily hit higher speed and further distanced arrow shots, as you can see here. Immediately demonstrating my additional accuracy. Of course, they're in one big cloud. So... It's pretty easy to hit these shots, but still, it's nice to have that. None of these craven yellow bellies may leave. There we are. Yep, whole bunch of experience across the board, which is great. Uh, we freed some Sturgia peasants, but I don't want them. And all my infantry, the whole stack, ready to go. I'm going to bring them up to swordsmen because I do sort of predict I'm going to be in castle attacks and defenses and uh, mounted units are far less useful uh, in those types of uh, in those types of engagements Soldiers! Soldiers! Yeah! so let's just keep grinding out that uh, renown and looking for opportunities for castle fight I could also uh, potentially just go quest. Uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of that, do some Valandian town quests. But personally, I'd really like to own land for the, the, the territory I'm questing for. Because otherwise, there's not a whole lot to gain by just, you know, aimlessly questing a bunch of Valandian territory quests. Crossbowman leveled up. All right, let's uh, zoom out and analyze the situation here. So, what I'm mostly looking for is towns that might be getting sieged, besieged. Uh, Vredog, my surgeon. You've got a uh, action point to put in. Uh, let's get your riding up to something more respectable. Who else? Oops. Let's see here. Vredog. Bash. Give you a little bow skill. Okay. Oh, uh, Can's stewardship is, um... Villages you own grow at double rate, or food consumption reduced. Definitely the food consumption, because Can will never be landed as a companion. Um, okay, I think that's everybody. A part of me also wants to, because of my own stewardship gain, uh, a part of me wants to install Can into... Well, alright, do one of two things. Either I can uh, take over the quartermaster role for myself, putting Can not as quartermaster, which reduces my maximum party size a little bit, as you can see, um, but it will let me level up my own stewardship. Um, that's probably the best way to do it, because, um, you know, I'm going to need stewardship for myself.
There's a just a tiny amount of forest bandits here. Let's let's do it. Yeah, my stewardship's now going up. So providing I am I have a nice food variety and the recent events are all positive, um, you know, we'll we'll get a lot more stewardship this way. Alright, so there should be only Okay, there was zero. Yeah, all five of the bandits are in the last party. Uh, let's duel the boy. The dude. Come on! Oh, punched him unconscious. Brilliant! All right, so we got a bandit boss as prisoner. And, ooh, a fancy little tunic that will be able to sell well. And nearby notables have liked that I cleared that out. Notables would just be, you know, town leaders and, and village leaders, stuff like that. So, these guys. Uh, you have escort merchant caravan. And there's a tournament here. I don't really like escorting merchant caravans because... In truth, it takes a long, long, long time, and it's kind of boring. I'll eat your liver! If it was my own town, wow, guys. Hey, it's the leopardess. My, um... I joked in YouTube comments that I am her rival, but she is not mine. Because I always beat her down, but she never beats me down. Sorry, leopardess. Ooh, she lands a good hit. Lesson learned. And she learned an important lesson, too. Alright, can. Battle of the Stewards. And stack. Oh, nice shot. And now Richard the Stag's on my my team. Sorry about knocking you unconscious, buddy. Ooh, he just took probably really bad hit from uh crossbow. good at landing those, uh, I kind of feel like Achilles, right? Landing those, uh, spear, I mean, Achilles was on horseback, but still. Alright, tons of crummy weapons and armor. Oh, we also have that clothing that I wanted to sell. The pricey clothing. Fine commoner's tunic. You know, actually, hey, give that to me. Where is it? I'll wear it. I'll wear it. Here, it's this one. Done. Alright, so now, when I'm in my commoner's clothing... Oh, you know what? I much, much would prefer wearing armor. Always in armor. Okay, let's get rid of the tunic. We have over 10k now. Uh, I'm gonna go for the attempt of food variety so that my troops or that my um, leadership might level up. As far as I could tell, there hasn't really been any change of control over any uh, towns. You can sort of read down here of what's going on, and I haven't seen any significant changes. Everybody first round. T 
teammates. It'd be really, really wicked cool if... Okay, we're screwed. <laughs> Alright, so let's just skip the match. And leave. My, uh... I shouldn't have closed like that. I mean, that was my fault. But then my teammates, like, made no attempt to, uh... Shoot the two people that were on top of me. And they both happened to be nobles that have high combat skills. And good armor. Oh well. Lesson learned. Don't trust... Uh, who was it? Bash and Can or something like that? Don't trust them to back me up. <laughs> it's probably not exactly the right lesson. The right lesson should be Fools Rush In where Angels Fool to Tread, Fear to Tread, but. I'll get my, I'll get my vengeance in this battle. Alright, Mr. Blue, Landian Vanguard. Gotcha. Gotcha. Huh, he has a lot of hit points. Where do you think you're going? Huh, I just ran over the last guy. <laughs> Oh, the horse got the knockout. I mean, he was low enough that all it took was a horse, but still, I find that pretty funny. Yeah. Berserker. Sure. Alright, Bash, you and I. Oops. Alright, I tried to couch, but, uh... The horse took the damage. It's just a lot safer to do point blank poking. Yep, stop trying to kill my horse. Alright, last round. Me versus Thumund. Uh, this has me a little worried because he's a another noble with really high combat stats and presumably really good armor. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, he whooped me. I'll learn my lesson. That, uh, that block he had was just the end. Well, unfortunately, I can't really encourage, uh, I can't really encourage Valandia to go to war with anyone. Uh, I'm sort of sitting on my hands waiting for, uh, oh, my polearm leveled up. More morales at the start, of, more morale for my troops at the start of battle, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm sort of waiting for there to be significant political sea change in order to make my move. You know, a castle or something like that, changing hands, but there's been no such, uh, no such event like that happening. Well, three couched in a row. That's a good start. I don't have teammates left, which is kind of a problem. Take winner. Alright. I've been couching this whole fight. Might as well continue the trend. This guy doesn't have a mount, so. I don't think I was gonna be able to get the uh the distance for it. Yo, he he's quick on his feet. And looking at the clock, this will probably be my last battle. This episode. Peekaboo. boo the Alone. Where? Oh, you're back here. Much of a fight. All right, and me and a well-armed noble. Oh, but at least I get sword board. All right, I win. Not to be cocky, but statistically, 
the sword board fights. I don't think I've lost one yet. Unless I got, like, crossbowed in a 2v1. Alright, give me that prize money. Keeping her money nice and high. Uh, says that's... Oh, my athletics have leveled up. Melee damage on foot or range damage on foot? Uh, let's go with range damage on foot. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, taking a look at the situation here. I gained maybe like 50-ish renown. It's really, truly not that much. But um, what I really am hoping is that at some point, a Valandian town falls. I don't think it has happened since the start of this entire series, as far as I could tell. Um, but when it does happen, I'll be there to to scoop the town up and claim it as my own. If you have any feedback for me, tips, tricks, anything like that, do drop me a line in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you all next episode. Adios.